Hello and welcome. Today in this video, I'll be portraying a good fighter from Falschemeger Regiment 6, 13th Company during the Normandy Campaign in 1944. I'm wearing my Luftwaffe Blue Flieger Blouse, which was issued to all Luftwaffe personnel. On my left side here, I've got my Cloth Jump Badge, which was awarded after the completion of six jumps at various levels. Below that, I've got my original Black Wound Badge, which was issued to those who sustained one or two wounds during combat. Above that, I've got my Machine Soon Breast Eagle. And on my collar, I've got two yellow tabs that have a pair of gulls on them. Um, these goals denote the rank of Gefighter, which in modern terms is Private First Class. The chevron on my left sleeve also denotes that. This is the standard M38 jump helmet. Flossmager Regiment 6 during the Normandy campaign actually painted their helmets in a two-tone camouflage scheme with a sawdust texture. Um, not all companies painted their helmets. And you even see guys wearing the standard M40 and M42 helmets and you can even see them putting on American uh, silk uh, from parachutes on top of their helmets just to camouflage it and conceal it a bit and you know there's, uh, there's a whole range of different things. This is the Falschemeger M42 jump smock in Spinter B camouflage. If you look at photos of FDR6 during the Normandy campaign most of the guys are wearing this smock. You also see guys wearing the earlier M40 groom knit smocks and you also see them wearing the uh, converted ones too. So there's a wide range of smocks uh, in use. This is what a typical rifleman would look like during combat. He's got his fully loaded bandolier with 20 stripper clips of 7.92 rounds for his K9D8 rifle. He's got his enlisted man's belt with the off a belt buckle. His sidearm, which is very dependent on the situation and the scenario, and he wouldn't always be issued one of these. But this one here is painted in the two-tone camouflage scheme, which is very, very uh, iconic for FGR6. At the back, I've got an entrenching tool in a pressed-off cover, and my bayonet is also attached onto that. I've also got my Zeppelin bread bag, canteen and my gas mask bag with my gas mask cape bag also attached onto it. For looking closer at some more footage, I noticed that the guys actually carried their gas cape bags onto their gas mask bags and they did that by attaching it onto the straps. And I find this to be very you know, odd looking because you, you normally only see that with, done on the canisters. So it's a very interesting detail that I've incorporated into my impression today. My pockets are round full with spare on your mission, personal items and so on. There's veterans accounts of guys in FGR6 actually cutting up bed sheets and making them into drawstring bags, which is what I've done here. And it's actually quite a, a very efficient way of keeping all your stuff together and it keeps it dry to an extent as well. That's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more content like this, please check out our Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you very much.